Thanks for joining us tonight. Governor Tony Evers has declared a state of emergency for Wisconsin. It allows state agencies to step up safety and protection measures and allows the National Guard to assist local authorities in protecting infrastructure during protests. It follows two days of protests that gave way to chaos and rioting as night falls in Kenosha in response to the officer-involved shooting of Jacob Blake. We have new drone video we are seeing of the damage left behind. In Madison last night, several businesses were damaged in the state. State Street area, as well as fires set in the streets after protests evolved into destructive demonstrations. For a third night, protesters have gathered in downtown Madison. Madeline O'Neill is live at the Capitol tonight, where a vigil and march in honor of Black Lives just wrapped up. She has more on that and what we're seeing downtown tonight. Maddie? Well, right now we are walking with community leaders who are on the ground tonight after that destruction we saw on State Street last night. This comes after a call from Boys and Girls Club CEO Michael Johnson. So far tonight we've seen former Mayor Paul Soglin, MMSD Board President Gloria Reyes, MMSD new superintendent, elected officials, uh, many people out here tonight on the ground. So earlier, uh, Michael Johnson told me that they're here to keep the peace. He said he was impressed with a vigil we saw earlier tonight in honor of survivors and victims of violence, including Jacob Blake and 11-year-old Anissa Scott, who was sh shot and killed in Madison here earlier this month. Now people brought flowers, lit candles. We heard from speakers who stressed the importance of um, investing in black communities. The community leaders we've heard from tonight had that same urgency, but tonight they're also stressing peace, including former Mayor Paul Soglin. History is on our side. And I think the words of the families of those who have been tragically murdered and hurt by police officers in the last year or two saying, do not commit this violence in our family's name, is the message that we have to convey. And we cannot allow others to speak for us with this kind of violence. Now that vigil turned into a march to the city county building where the mayor's office is and then officially ended around 830 when the crowd seemed to disperse a bit. But right now we are walking up again with those community leaders. Seems to be a group of protesters rather large filling the road here um, tonight. So again, the community leaders are walking up to them right now. We see this crowd filling the street. Uh, we will keep you updated with another uh, live update later in the show as well.